Hi guys uh, and girls, uh, welcome to uh, Jaffa Man Eddie, that's me, uh, top 11 tips for building your own copywriting and content writing business. Now, um, the whole idea of this or why I'm actually doing this is, you know, I mentor a lot of um, students at university, marketing graduates and so forth. Uh, we get a lot of freelancers who ask um, how to build a business that contact us and so forth. So I thought it might be a great idea uh, if I could share with you uh, my top 11. Now, um, I'll be honest, there's more than 11. So I might just do a part two. So you're probably better off if you want to subscribe go for it. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, my first tip would have to be, you know, uh, be the marketer of your copywriting and content writing business and not the technician. Now, um, that's not to say I don't do any writing. I still write every day, website copy, email autoresponders, company profiles, whatever it may be, because I love writing. However, I also have staff. So, you know, my point is, you know, uh, no matter where you are, I mean, if you're just starting out, yeah, you've got to do everything. You're the technician, but you've got to be a better marketer than a technician because even if you're a great copywriter, if you suck at the marketing and no one knows you exist, well, you know, the loneliest um, number in business is one or none, obviously. So you want to become a great marketer of your copywriting service, yeah? Yeah. Um, because it's just important. Marketing is everything. Without marketing, no one knows you exist, yeah? So that also rolls into, I mean, if you've got any experience in copywriting or content writing or, or providing really any type of service, you know, um, you know, you need to know how to convert people. You need to know how to speak with customers, what to charge, how to present yourself and so forth. Otherwise, you're going to lose, yeah? So, you know, number one is be the marketer of your thing as much as possible and then the technician. Number two would have to be a pretty basic one, which is treat everybody with respect. Now, that may seem, you know, um, like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how many people just want to find you, flog you and forget you. Now, have, the reason I'm big on that is um, I'm a bit old school. Everybody deserves respect and we all want to be feel wanted and loved. As copywriters or content writers, you probably already know that. Um, and respect goes a long way. I mean, it's also probably part of the reason why we get 87% of our customers um, coming back for, you know, more than one project because we treat everybody with respect and we add value to it. Tip number three would have to be understand that your clients and prospects are busy, guys and girls, you know. I mean, um, you know, your clients, um, you know, they're time poor and they've got their own duties in their own business and they're taking on extra work when they um, hire a copywriter or content writer, yeah? So keep that in mind, you know. It's like marketing. No one is really sitting at home waiting for the piece of marketing that you're, you're writing or written to be delivered, yeah? So you gotta understand that your clients or prospects are busy and the best way I've found to, to get reach out to clients or prospects that you can't reach is have a system for it, yeah? Tip number four would be know your why. Now I know we hear this all the time, you know, why you're in business, who your customers are, and, and they're all valid points, but at the end of the day, if you wanna build a profitable copywriting content business, okay, that works with or without you, you've gotta know your why. Now the reason I say that is, you know, starting and building um, a copywriting or content business takes a lot of mental muscle and a lot of resourcefulness. And uh, when you know your why you're doing it, okay, whether that's to share your expertise, whether that's for your family, um, whether it's for money, um, you know, whatever your why is, when you know why you're doing it, it'll pull you through in those tough times. And believe me, you'll have plenty of them, yeah? So, Know your why, and that's something you've just got to sit down and write out, and, and well, I write it in my success journal every night, so, you know, it, it helps, it pulls you towards your goal as opposed to, well, you know, why the hell is this always happening, you know, um, because building a business, whatever business it is, is tough, you know, and I think a lot of people underestimate it. 
just how much um, muscle, you know, and resourcefulness you need, yeah? Um, you know, and, and if I could just add to that, you know, I mean, skills you can learn, copywriting you can learn, content writing you can learn, but attitude you can't. So your attitude and knowing your why is everything. Tip number five would have to be uh, work harder than anyone else. Yeah, that's probably a Will Smith thing and, you know, another, if I can add to that, because there's going to be more than 11 really, is, you know, work harder on yourself than you do on your job, as Jim Rowan says. You know, if you really want to build a successful copywriting content business, you know, working harder than anyone else and working harder on yourself will pay off dividends. And don't get me wrong, when I say a business, I mean um, a business that works with or without you that is profitable, yeah? Um, And not everybody wants that. I can dig that, you know. Um, I always thought I'd just be a freelancer and use freelance free other freelancers as a business model. However, um, you know, 15 years later, um, you know, I now have staff in-house because I can control it more and things like that. And I also found a lot of freelancers were freelancing it out to other freelancers. So, you know, I, I, the, it just wasn't a model that I could work. I mean, these days, though, I've got a business that works with or without me. So that's what I mean when I'm, I'm talking about a copywriting and content writing business, yeah? And hey, if you just want to um, freelance, there's nothing wrong with that at all. We've all done it. It all depends. I'm a big believer, though, that, you know, you either evolve or dissolve. I mean, as human beings, no matter what we do in life or relationships, you know, we want to feel like we're making progress, Yeah. Tip number six would be to get a mentor and model someone who has done it before you. Um, You know, there's a lot of educated derelicts out there, you know, people who are, um, you know, all theory and no no practical. And, you know, you really want to try and find a mentor who's actually started a copywriting and content writing business built a successful copywriting and content writing business, has maybe created passive income streams from that, Uh, you know, because there's no need to really reinvent the wheel. I mean, a lot of successful businesses just model their competitors who've done it before you. The trick is you want to model, um, you know, what's working, not their bad habits, but their good ones. Tip number seven for... um, Building a successful copywriting, content writing business would be to know your numbers, okay? Now, the numbers don't lie, do they, guys and girls, you know? So, you know, uh, as painful as they may be, knowing your numbers will help you build a business quicker, you know? Uh, how much does it cost you to get a lead? Uh, what, how much does your average customer spend? How much does it cost you to convert a lead? Yeah, you know, how much does it write you to? Uh, how much does it cost you to either write or delegate five pages of website copy to another writer and so forth? You've got to know your numbers. Yeah, it's a crucial part in business. And in all honesty, I mean, um, you know, this is something that I've been working on for probably the last five years now, and I really like it now, um, mainly because I understand them better. I've got a mentor to help me, you know, understand the financials better and so forth. Uh, so know your numbers. Tip number eight would be give back at every opportunity you can, you know, um, and I'm not talking about donating money. Of course, that, that can be part of it, but um, how do I put this into um, something practical for you? Okay, I um, mentor Griffith University students, marketing graduates and, you know, people doing a uni degree. Um, so I mentor them free of charge. Um, I um, uh, involved with the CEO sleep out on the Gold Coast every year. Um, so, you know, I devote a percentage of our earnings to the CEO sleep out every year. Um, you know, I'm also involved with Parkinson's and a couple of other um, non-for-profit charities, you know. So give back at every opportunity you can. You know, I mean, we, um, once again, I can only draw on my own experience, guys and girls, where, you know, um, you know we get probably five freelance writers a day, uh, a week sort of, you know, contacting us looking for um, freelance work, and that's fine. Um, you know, 
some of them I mentor at no charge or anything like that. So, you know, um, they can learn and, and, and start their own business. And I don't care if they're a competitor. There's plenty to go around, yeah? I mean, if you think scarcity, you get scarcity. If you think abundance, you'll have abundance. It's really that simple. Or that's my experience and what I believe, yeah? Tip number nine would be before you buy, make any purchase, you know, ask yourself, is it a want or a need? You know, I mean, um, we've been in business since 2003 um, and, you know, we're one of Australia's biggest and most successful content and copywriting services for a simple reason. Um, I suppose I'm stingy in a sense, but I learned a long time ago that, you know, before we make any major purchase, is it a want or a need? You know, you see people start a business, you know, have the flash offices, have the flash cars, you know, but six months later, they're out of business. Once again, it comes back to knowing your numbers, tip number seven, you know. Uh, better to be stingy and in business two years later than, you know, have the best of everything, no clients and be out of business six months later, guys. So always ask yourself, is it a want or a need? If it's a want, you know, it's probably not a priority for your business. If it's a need, you know, to improve production, improve customer service experience or whatever, well, by all means, go for it. Tip number 10 would be to get business training. Yep, once again, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. You know, that also encompasses, you know, I, I spend 10 minutes a day watching a video. I read for an hour a day. You know, I work out and things like that. So that all encompasses that, you know, but the, at its basic core, you know, get some type of business training. And, and you don't, I'm not talking about signing up for a university degree or anything. Um, you know, of the Griffith, of the university students I mentor, a lot of them don't even know why they're really doing a marketing, you know, um, degree, which I find, uh, you know, pretty, um, you know, uh, well, they don't know their why, okay? I think a lot of them are just killing time. Um, but that's just my opinion on talking or, or mentoring, you know, university students um, over the past four or five years. Tip number 11 would be have to be focused on creating and innovating and don't worry about your competition. Competition's healthy, man. Go with it, you know. Just focus on what you do best. Focus on creating and innovating the products and services that you feel your hottest prospects and clients will you know, uh, will love, yeah, excuse me, you've got to add value, yeah, you know, so, you know, you've got to be in it for more than the money, you know, if you, if money is your sole driver, you'll burn out, you know, uh, it comes back to your why and all those types of things, so, listen, I think I'll probably do a part two of this, um, podcast, so, um, you know, if you want to subscribe, by all means, go for it. Um, if I can help you uh, on clarifying any of these tips, by all means, reach out to me at creativecopywriting.com.au or dropping me an email. And uh, you have yourself a good day. And um, good luck if you're starting or in the process of building your own copywriting, content writing business. Uh, it's a great industry to be in, um, you know, and... Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you sooner or later. See you next time. Bye now.